Attention Tokusatsu toy collectors, this is a public service announcement. Bandai, they're on their way. They want your money, but we're ready for them, or we're going to be ready for them this time, because, oh wow, <laughs> so premium Bandai, right? You know, the site that just announces random stuff on Sunday nights and takes a lot of money from us at once, and usually doesn't have toy listings leak like the main retail stuff. Well, we got a lot. We got a lot of leaks here today, and uh, this is a funny video because this is a video that I should have done in March, and then I just didn't, and then I had an opportunity to do it in April, still didn't do it, and then more stuff happened literally like yesterday morning, and so maybe things will kind of pause for a second so I can actually get this video done finally, but we have so many leaked things coming down the pipeline for Premium Bandai, so let's just dive right into it because we have a lot to talk about. So. These come from like Chinese trademarks or something like that, and I don't really understand exactly where these are coming from, but you might be wondering, is there any actual validity to these? Yeah, so we actually had something like this happen before. I've talked about this in previous videos, but back in October of last year, there was this one list of premium Bandai things that had the Memorial Edition Gokai Saber, and it had the Orb Caliber from the Ultra Replica line, and it had like the Jamato Buckle, and it also had a couple of other things that have also actually ended up happening. So what I want to do here today is kind of break down each of these leak lists, what we already have revealed off of them, and what we have not had revealed off of them, because all of them are fully legitimate from what we can tell, and so we have a lot to uh, be anticipated about, or to be nervous about, or worried about in terms of money and all that kind of stuff. So the first one of these happened on March 16th that had a giant leak list of stuff here and I'm just going to kind of list it all off here because this has stuff from the main like regular toy line of Geats, so like just the regular show. It has Memorial Edition stuff for Super Sentai, it has Complete Selection Modification stuff for Kamen Rider, and it also has some Ultra Replica stuff and some random Ultraman things that are kind of just sprinkled in here every once in a while. So they're going to be making a CSM Perfect Zector from Kamen Rider Kabuto. So this was the sword that was used by Kabuto's Hyperform that had the Sasword, Drake, and the B Zectors on top of it. Which is definitely interesting because that kind of implies that they would make CSM stuff for Sasword, Drake, and the B as well. But there's no listings for anything like that, just the Perfect Zector. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen with that or when we're going to see that one. It kind of seems like CSM right now is either trying to reissue older stuff or it's trying to go back to older stuff and finish it, or when they announce something new, they kind of just dive all the way in. Now what this list finally gave us on the first thing that's actually happened on this list, which like I said, some of the stuff has already happened, so since there's so much to cover, I just want to cover it very, very briefly. But the Complete Style Gigantic line finally had its second entry with the Pegasus Bowgun from Kamen Rider Kuga. So this follows the Titan Sword that was released last year, and I guess at this point we could maybe expect the Dragon Rod, because if the first two entries in this brand new toy line were from Kamen Rider Kuga, and you've done two of his three weapons. It seems like we might get that, but who knows. But this is the first thing that actually came true. But then we dive into Memorial Edition stuff with the Memorial Edition Zonglass Sword and the Memorial Edition Ninjark Sword. So we haven't seen either of these yet, and these piss me off. So I really don't like the idea of either one of these things. Uh, and I'll talk about it here for a second, and that's just because why do we keep doing this with Sentai stuff? So... I had talked about this in previous videos with the Memorial Edition Gear Deliner and the Dom Blaster and all that kind of stuff, that we're getting Memorial Edition items so soon after these shows are over for these, you know, items that just came out or just had deluxe releases, and that's kind of soured me on the Memorial Edition line for Sentai as a whole. I don't mind getting Memorial Edition stuff like for Gokaiger or for like Hurricane Jir and Abba Ranger or other seasons like that for stuff that's like older, you know, because Memorial Edition is supposed to kind of be the CSM, the, you know, complete style gigantic, that kind of line, but for Super Sentai. And by them just making toys that they just made a year ago, to me, it really starts to undermine the value of the original toy line. Because like, why would you buy any of these deluxe stuff? That's why I haven't bought any of the deluxe Kinoja stuff, except for I did buy the Spider Kumano stuff because it has like pseudo Ranger keys and I I can't help myself, but besides that, I have not bought the Ogre Caliber, I have not bought the Ogre Caliber Zero, uh, that was released for Okuagata Ogre, because both of those are like just generic, you know, deluxe dinky swords that I'm sure we're going to get Memorial Editions of next year, so I'm not going to do it. But the Ninjark Sword is what really frustrates me, because it frustrates me for the same exact reason that the Memorial Edition Gear Toji Lunar did, and that's because the original version of this toy was already a Premium Bandai exclusive, and now you're making it a premium bandai exclusive again and i would much prefer the full length version of the sword not the dinky one so like 
if I would have known, I would have just never bought these on Glass Sword or those on, or especially the Ninjark Sword last year. I would have just waited for these, but we don't know how much they're going to cost. We don't know when they're going to reveal them. So for now, they're a thing that's coming, but I'm not really happy about it. This March list, though, had a lot of stuff that has already been revealed for Fies and for Saber. So they actually went back for Saber and they did a couple things that they hadn't done, or they had they did one thing they hadn't done, which was the Deluxe Tassel Dark Wonder Ride book from the stage show. And that got announced in tandem at the beginning of April with the Deluxe Kokuriken, Shikoku, and Gaikotsu Ninja Den Wonder Ride book and emblem set. So this is the set that goes for Comrade of Disaster. Uh, from the Comrade Outsider special from TTFC. And they also put the driver up for Comrade Fauchian back up for pre-order for another run of it, since Tassel does use that driver specifically. So lots of cool Saber stuff over there that's all been up for pre-order since April. And by the way, I should mention it before, but anything that has been already officially announced will be a pre-order link on Toe Collectibles down in the description below. So there's already a lot of this, like I said, that's been announced, but we're starting to get to the realm of things to where they really haven't announced much of it. Speaking of that, we have Kamen Rider Fies. So on May 5th for Kamen Rider Fies Day, there was a ton of announcements, and maybe I'll cover those at some point there. But we had a big thing with the 20th anniversary Fies movie being announced, and the giant CSM project that they're doing. So this list back in March had a ridiculous amount of Fies things, and then they were like, hey, by the way, we're doing all of that. So they announced the CSM Saiga Driver and CSM Orga Driver, which were previously shown off at like a Toy Fair show four years ago, so it took a long time for them to finally decide to release those. So the Saiga Driver is currently up for pre-order right now. Everything else for Fies is just been announced, but hasn't gone up for pre-order, and we don't know when it's going to. All they said was that the Fies stuff was going to take about two to three years for them to release it all, and that includes the Saiga Driver, the Orga Driver, the Fies Blaster, the Fies Edge, and even their, which is crazy to me, they're finally also doing the Smart Buckle, which is the belt for the Ryo Troopers. Now that was actually not on any of these leak lists, that was actually a surprise part of this, so What's interesting about these leak lists is that, and as I get into more stuff in a second here, there is no ranger key set on here, and we know that we're getting a ranger key set for the Kinoja ranger keys, because they've teased that a couple months ago, but it's not on any of these leak lists whatsoever, so there's still some stuff that can still be a surprise, but for a thing that usually doesn't get leaks, premium Bandai stuff, it's really good to have a bunch of leaks out there so you can kind of budget a little bit, since these are the big expensive things that just kind of always show up randomly on a Sunday night and kind of catch a lot of people off guard. But the March list ended with a couple of interesting things, including a new item for Kamen Rider Buffa, the CSM Drag Visor's Fly, which is the transformation device of Ryuki Survive, and it also reintroduced the Memorial Edition Dino Brace, which was something that they teased all the way back in like November, but they never put it up for pre-order yet, because at this point we're all pretty much assuming that they're going to wait to put it up for pre-order when they finally release the TTFC special of Don Brothers meets Abba Ranger, because that's what they did with the Memorial Edition Hurricane Gyro and Hurricane Ranger. So they did actually have a blog post recently, I think it was the one that talked about the Zonglass Sword Tease, where they're like, hey, we've teased a lot of things randomly, and we're still doing these things. And they kind of showed like a new picture of the Dino Brace, but it's been literally like six, almost seven months since they teased that. and actually showed us like a silhouette of it, and they haven't put it up for pre-order yet. So who knows? But if you forgot about it, we're getting the Dino Brace. And then the final things on the list were what we are assuming is the packing items for the Hurricane and Opera Ranger Blu-rays, something that we've also known about for a very long time, but they just had them listed as Hurricane and Opera Ranger 20th Anniversary items, so who knows. So on April 28th, we had another Chinese trademark list that leaked out and was translated, and some stuff of it has already started coming true as recent as this past weekend, so this list was a lot of fun. So this one kind of dived into more Geats stuff specifically. It was almost exclusively Geats stuff actually. And that starts with the Geats new weapon in Boost Mark 9. So I'm not really going to be talking about it too much here today. But of course we did finally get some pictures of Boost 9 or Boost Mark 9. Or I think the form is actually just called Geats 9. Uh, which is the final form for Kamen Rider Geats. Now like I said most of the stuff is Premium Bandai. But there are a couple retail things on these lists. And that's one of them. Of the Geats Boost Mark 9 stuff is not Premium Bandai in any regard. There's a buckle for this and there's a gun for this, which I'm hoping there's nice pictures of on Amazon Japan by the time I'm making this video. If not, I'm going to have to use the blurry ones from the Teletubby Kun scans, but we're going to be getting this, I think, next weekend at the time of this video, or at least very early June. And this, of course, is just the final form item. And that brings us to the, at the time, was referred to as just the Deluxe Laser question mark. Now, we weren't sure what this was exactly. Same thing with the next listing, which was Deluxe question mark Magnum. We know that these are what we think they are now because of the new leak list. But at the time, people were like, is this a new Laser Raise Riser or something? 
It is. So we actually had something about this. This has not been announced yet. Everything at this point, for the most part, has not been announced. And I'll say if it has or not. But this actually had another leak for it. So there was a photo posted on, I think, Instagram, taken from behind the scenes of them shooting the newest episode of Geats. And it showed the laser razor eyes are being held in the card inside of it was definitely not one of the cards that's already been released with the Laser Raise Riser. It's not Baraba or Jin or Keikara or Kyun. It's some kind of brand new card. So everybody was like, how are they going to release that? How is that even going to work? Because the Laser Raise Riser toy only has four sounds programmed into it, technically five uh, with Boost Mark II. So there's only five sounds programmed into it. So like, we weren't sure how that was even going to work, how you could even have additional cards. The question mark magnum, we're pretty sure at this point, is Geats' final form gun that I just talked about a minute ago. So we move on to the deluxe fantasy buckle, which I'm not going to talk about a lot right here because a lot of the Geats stuff that hasn't been announced yet like this, we got more details of in the most recent leak list. But this was finally going to give us the fantasy buckle, which is a sound that's been programmed into the desire driver and also the vision driver ever since the beginning. And we didn't know what it was going to be. It definitely seemed like it was going to be one of those bigger buckles, uh, like Monster, Beats, Ninja, Zombie, or Magnum, or Boost, or something like that. But we just didn't know who was going to get it and what it was going to do. The, our only clue of like what it would even kind of look like or sound like was from the Vision Driver, since those have the LED screens that kind of mimic or look like the sounds that those buckles make. So we kind of had a slight idea. And because of the fact that it was programmed into the Vision Driver, it meant that they hadn't scrapped it, because sometimes they program sounds into belts, and they just scrapped them later on, so it was possible that it could have been in the Desire Driver, and then they decided not to do it. But since it was in the Vision Driver, it definitely seemed like they were going to, and this list backs up that they are. And this brings us to the next thing that was on the April leak list that has come true, and that is the Deluxe ID Core Set 2. So this was not a surprise by any means, because there was a lot of ID cores for them to get to, so they did finally announce this only a couple of days ago. You can get it right now on Big Bad Toy Store or on Toy Collectibles, like, which, like I said, There'll be a link to those in the description below. But this set is perfect. It's 10 ID cores instead of 9 ID cores, which was what the last set had. And this one has pretty much everybody else that they're missing. So it has Groovy, that one rider that was in the show for like 40 seconds. It has the one Dalmatian dude from the Punk Jack special. It's got Letter, who was mysteriously missing from the last set for some reason. It has uh, Buffa's friend, even though we'd never seen a suit for him. It has Ben and John who have been, they've been baiting us with a suit for them this entire show. We've had them transformed twice, but never got to see their suits, but we finally got their ID cores. We actually got names and the ID cores for those kind of generic grunt riders that were used as like mind control drones by Glare. I didn't even know that those guys had rider names, but apparently that they definitely do. We have Habuki, which is Sarah, uh, Tycoon's sister. So that's cool that she's finally getting hers. And we also have the cracked Nudge Sparrow ID core because that just happened in the show. And with some certain plot developments, it looks like kind of like how Buffa used that crack ID core for a while. We could potentially see that be a similar case because technically there should be more cracked ID cores in this set or there could be. In the show, there was a cracked letter ID core shown on screen. And also Buffa's friend had a cracked ID core on screen and Buffa destroyed Ben and John's ID cores. So they could have included with some more broken or fully destroyed ones in the set, but they just didn't do that. And then the next item for Geats, we know exactly what it's going to be, but they haven't officially announced it yet. Although we know exactly when they're going to officially announce it. So this is the purple ninja buckle and some additional ID core. We don't exactly know what ID core this buckle is going to be coming with, but we do know from TTFC specials that this is going to be the purple ninja buckle that Tycoon uses in the Tycoon meets Comrade Shinobi special, which we just finally got a premiere date of for next month. So we know that this special is coming out then, and there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that that is when, or at least that weekend, is when they're going to announce this buckle and get that ID core. However, Tycoon just uses his regular ID core in this special, so it's likely that this ID core will be kind of the blank, I think it was like an all black ID core that we just saw in the Punk Jack special in TTFC because they haven't released that one yet and it wasn't in ID core set 2. So I would imagine that's probably the ID core that this is coming with. That way you could have like kind of a little set that covers both TTFC specials. At least that's what I would expect for this to be the case. And then wrapping it up for Geats at the end of April, we had a name finally for that Buffa buckle from the end of March and one additional buckle. So the new Buffa item is officially going to be the Buffa Demon King buckle, which we actually finally got kind of a look at the other day, which I, it was funny because we, we knew that Buffa was going to get an upgrade. And this was before he got his current like upgrade that he has on the show. But thanks to this list, we know that Buffa is going to get a proper final form upgrade with some kind of new buckle called the Demon King buckle. And then Tycoon 
is also going to get his own upgrade buckle with the Tycoon Shogun buckle. So that's another one that we just have the name of and we do have a drawing of it now. Uh, but that's another one that hasn't been officially announced yet and we don't know when it's going to happen. But then the final things from the April list were actually very surprising. Well, one of them wasn't as surprising, and that was the CSM Genesis Driver and Sonic Arrow set. So the Gaim stuff is kind of taking a little bit of a pause on CSM because they have released everything that they promised, except for the Genesis Driver. So the Genesis Driver is no secret for CSM. They said it literally three years ago that they were going to make it. Uh, when they announced the whole Sengoku Driver Project Arc plan where they did all these lock seat sets and everything, they said, hey... We're going to make a Genesis driver. That's why the energy lock seats were not being included with the belt. They released that individual Genesis core, which they specifically said would not be able to fit in the CSM Genesis driver, which still doesn't exist. But hey, as we are now hitting Gaim's 10th anniversary in a couple months, it's finally going to exist with a Sonic Arrow. So we didn't know about that. So the Sonic Arrow is going to be something that I assume is going to be, well, obviously these are packaged together, but I'm assuming there could potentially be an option to where you could like just get the Genesis driver and not have to get the Sonic Arrow because that's going to be incredibly, incredibly expensive. And we don't know what it's going to come with, but of course it's a safe assumption that they'll come with the four energy lock seeds for Melon, Lemon, Cherry, and Peach. I think it'd be really cool if it came with the Sid lock seed because that was one he actually used in the Sonic Arrow. However, the Sid lock seed was not one on that promised list of lock seeds a couple years ago, so... Doesn't mean that the, it can't be, but I think that would be a really cool thing if you could do like five lock seeds there. But then the final surprise thing, which if this would have just been announced whenever it's going to be, because it still hasn't been, it would have just been a crazy surprise. But we're getting a Memorial Edition Shota foam. What? <laughs> so out of nowhere, they're going to be making a Shota foam from Shinkenger. So that's freaking cool. I definitely want that. But there's really not much to say about it right now. We don't know like if it actually be a brush or something or what they'll do to kind of you know, make it a nice fancy toy. Maybe it will come with the pouch that you could have bought, you know, back in the day. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but it's kind of random, but I'm here for it. And then that brings us to a brand new list, which is still having stuff on it, which is crazy. And overall, it just sort of reaffirms the stuff from the April list and adds a couple of other random new stuff in there as well. And even goes back to that March list and kind of gives some more context to that. So the first things on these lists was the Memorial Edition Geert Leaners and Kaiser Black Edition. I don't want to talk about that. I hate it. It was announced like a month ago. We're moving on. So we have the Memorial Edition Laser Raise Riser. Okay. So, so like the Laser Raise Riser is a very, very fun toy. I had a lot of fun playing with it in my Bayi unboxing and also in my Geats Raise Buckle Part 4 video the other day. I don't really need a Memorial Edition of it. So it's been listed that this is going to come with six cards. So it's going to come with the four that you could have bought already in the toy line. And then the listing here says that it's going to come with the King and the Queen cards. We have no idea what that means. We can assume that the King card is that one from that leaked behind the scenes photo. But besides that, we don't really know. Due to the fact that this is listed as Memorial Edition, I feel like that means that they're not going to announce this until Geats is over. Cool. But anyway, we have another buckle. So we have the Deluxe Nago Fantasy Buckle. So as we talked about, we knew that Fantasy was finally going to show up. We had power-up items for Buffa and Tycoon. Obviously, Geats has his own stuff covered in the main toy line. So Naga is kind of left behind here, but she's not going to be. So she's going to get to the Fantasy Raise Buckle. However, this is where the list gets a little confusing. So it does seem like on this list that there are two listings for a Fantasy Buckle. One is going to be used by Kamen Rider Seeker, who is the rider from the Geats Battle Royale film with Revice. It seems like he's going to be coming back to the show soon. He will debut in the show with Fantasy. Then, from what I understand from what was posted on Twitter... He will lose fantasy or he will leave the show or something. It will get repainted and then then it will become Nago's final form. So I think, if I'm reading this correctly, we're getting a Seeker version of the belt or of the buckle and a Nago version of the buckle. And then the Buffa Demon King and Tycoon Shogun buckles have appeared on this list once again. And now this is where I'm going to talk about the leaked drawings of them. So we a couple days ago had this leaked drawing for the Geats Boost Mark 9. And now that we have the official picture of it, we can see pretty much how almost dead on that that was. So these pictures that we have are probably going to be pretty accurate. So they look like they're very similar to Keats Mark 9, where it's going to cover like the entirety of the driver and even cover the ID core and everything. So that's really cool. I love that Tycoon's is kind of like a sword being like sheathed or something with the two buckles. And then Buffa's, I don't really know exactly what's going on here, but Buffa's is really covering a lot of stuff there. So like they look really cool. I don't know when they're going to show up in the show and when we're going to actually get them revealed. But these are two things that are going to be on the way, along with at least one, if not two, versions of the Fantasy Buckle and a Memorial Edition Laser Raise Riser. So that's a lot. 
There's a lot of stuff. The only Geats thing that's been officially announced so far for Premium Bandai stuff is that ID Core Set 2, which like I said was on the last leak list. So it's happening. It's just gonna be a lot. And then everything else on this list is either a little bit of new information from March or it's brand new reissues, which is really weird. So there's a lot of toys that apparently they're getting a re-release or a restock or something. But it's very weird choices and some of them are kind of confusing to me. So there's one that I think is Muteki Gamer. This one kind of translated a little weird. It looks like they might be re-releasing the Muteki Gasha. I could be wrong with that because you wouldn't want to just re-release the Muteki Gasha. You would want to have, of course, also have Maximum Mighty X. So I don't really know what's going on with that one. So take that one with a grain of salt. The ones that translated a little bit better though was the Arc-01 Progress Key and the Gates Majesty Ride Watch. Those are very fascinating to me because both of those were DVD packing items, uh, either with a Stage Show Blu-ray or with a Visa Next Blu-ray. So if that means that they're going to be open to the idea of re-releasing older gimmicks that were packing items, I assume this time without their respective DVDs, that's a very interesting prospect to me here. So those are on the list here for some sort of restock or reissue of some kind, but we don't know specifically what the details of that's going to be just yet. Also on here is the Deluxe Fane Memory and Deluxe Extreme Memory. So these have been highly anticipated ever since all the re-release stuff uh, because CSM, you know, pretty much did redid the entire double line in celebration of Futo PI with the double driver and guy memories and the lost driver and the axle driver, but they never re-released the fame memory, which was the last thing left from the leak list back in October. There was a CSM fame memory reissue there. And this is where this gets a little confusing as well once again, because this new list has it listed as a deluxe fame memory re-release. But the original leak list from a couple months ago had it listed as a CSM reissue in it. So I don't know which one it is. I don't know if it's both. If it's both, that's really bizarre. I don't really know why. Extreme is only listed as a deluxe. So maybe they decided to not reissue the CSM fane and they're just going to really re-release both of them as their original deluxe versions. They're also listed as like some kind of special painting version or something. I don't know if that means they're just going to be like improved paint or something. Kind of maybe like a weird in-between between like deluxe and CSM. That's a weird one, but if you wanted to complete your double collection, which I'm very happy about both of these because I don't have either one of them and I definitely wanted both of them, uh, you're going to be able to do that here pretty soon with those reissues. And then the final deluxe reissue, which is just as weird as all the other ones, is the Shining Hopper and Assault Wolf Progress Key Dual Pack. Okay, I don't know why. No idea why. It's very weird. So just like all the other random releases that are getting reissued, it was on that list to get reissued. So if you didn't get it a couple years ago, it's coming back, I guess. And then that brings us into the final thing that was clarification from the March list, and that was the Drag Visor Swy. So we assume that we're getting two versions of this thing, uh, one that would be Oja Survives that we just saw in the TTFC Outsider special, and also of course for Yuki's regular version. So we know for sure that this is happening. It's also going to happen very soon. So there's going to be like a CSM Ryuki announcement tomorrow night. So it's already going to date this video, but it doesn't really matter because we know what the announcement is going to be. We just don't know what the price and everything and what exactly we're getting with this. The final thing to talk about on this list here today is that if since they're revisiting Ryuki, if you never got the original CSM Ryuki stuff back in 2019, you're going to get another shot. And I'm sure they're going to announce it tomorrow night, but they are re-releasing or they're re they are reissuing, which I'm sure are just going to be a restock of them. They're not going to be like a 1.5 version or anything like that, but they are reissuing the CSM V-Buckle set, the CSM Drag Visor and Card set, and the CSM like deluxe sets where you get both those things in one big thing. So, so much stuff there. Which, oh boy, I'm very tempted because Ryuki is one of my all-time favorite rider shows and I never got the CSM stuff back in the day because I just couldn't afford it then. I, I can't really afford it now either. But like, if it get, this time it could potentially get a US release. Back then, that was before we got US releases of stuff and that does make this stuff cheaper. So, I guess we'll just find out tomorrow night and see what I do with it. And then finally, that brings us to the final thing on all these leak lists. Our very first listing for our brand new Comrader show. Doesn't really give us much information on it though. It just says the Deluxe Gachard Mechanical and Water set. So this does give us a little bit more information than you think. Because due to the fact that it's a set, this means that it's more than likely going to be a gimmick that doesn't have electronics. Because usually we, you know, we do get a set of something. Uh, you know, think of like, for example, like a full bottle set or something. It seems like this could either be a some kind of form that like it's a pairing, like mechanical and water is a pairing or something like that. Now I will say this because uh, people are going to maybe try to run with it as mechanical and water is like his base form. No. So this is more than likely going to be the early release thing. Because, uh, you know, in the past, they will release one gimmick item uh, like a month early, uh, basically to coincide with the rider having their little debut in the movie over the summer. So, for example, like the Build Ride Watch was released early, 
uh, the Peter Fantasista Wonder Ride book was released early. Uh, the Flying Falcon Progress key. I don't. They didn't do it for Gates. There was just not really anything that they could have done it for for Gates. Uh, but this is probably that. So this is not going to be his base form. But this is probably like his first form change. Is mechanical and water, of whatever that is. Uh, the same toy store that I mentioned a couple minutes ago did post that this year's Comrade is Yu-Gi-Oh. So it does seem like we are going to probably get card gimmicks of some kind. But that's pretty much all we have right now. We have one like. I wouldn't say official toy listing, but like this list is definitely accurate because all the ones in the past have been and are slowly coming true for a bunch of other things. So there's no reason to believe that this is not true. And then we have this toy store that is reasonably accurate. And then we had card basically in the name of the... And then we had like Gashapon card, basically the name of the show essentially. So it does look like we're going to probably get cards for Kachard. We just don't know exactly the full extent of that just yet. With that... That's it. So like I said, in the description below, I'm actually going to be posting a full list of everything that has been revealed and has not been revealed. And if it has been revealed, there will be a pre-order link to Toe Collectibles or some other place for it. And if it hasn't, well, it hasn't been revealed. So that's going to do it. So until next time, let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of all these leak lists? Are you excited for all this stuff? Is there stuff that, on, that isn't on any of these things that you really want to see Bandai do that they could still totally do? It's just not on these lists. What do you think of these reissues and what that could potentially mean for the future of some items and some potential re-release items that could be candidates? Lots of stuff to talk about this. This is crazy. I never expected this to happen once, let alone four times, and then to be like pretty much entirely accurate and to happen now essentially monthly. That's a lot. So, but at least this time Bandai can't surprise us as much as they could. So until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter, Olivia Rachel Key, or Lightning Fick BR, and I'll see you all later. To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons, Jurassic Samurai, Maggot Alchemist, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Overland, Maji Yellow, MCPC Studios, Comics 1017, James Darty, John Luke, Eric Berry, Tyler Bozetsky, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, ZPT Tesla, Cross SCV, Caboose Ed, Socket Monsters, Anthony Love, Daniel Pika, Hella Geo, Thrasher, and Jesus Prime. You can support Toku Topics for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.